New York Times bestselling author Michael Palmer joins us today to talk about his novel, The Fifth Vial, an action-packed medical thriller that turns cutting-edge science into dangerous ground for greed and power. What made you decide to focus this particular novel around organ transplants? I had a, uh, a vision initially of somebody going on a business trip to a faraway country, and we all hear this story, getting drugged someplace and then waking up in a bathtub or in a hospital. And I had very vague notions of what kind of book I wanted to write. And then as I began to write this, the characters actually took over the story uh, as I was planning it. And more and more it became, well, what happened to them? What would have happened to this person? And I decided I didn't want to write about uh, the theft of a kidney from a, from a patient. I wanted to go big time and uh, actually write about the theft of a lung. What does the title, The Fifth Vial, refer to? The Fifth Vial is a, actually a very scary title in that uh, it refers to the largest blood chemistry lab in the world with offices on every street corner to draw your blood. And in those offices, the technicians on every client draw one extra tube of blood, the fifth vial. The technicians believe that this vial is going for quality control in case they need to go back and repeat a test or in case they need to study some other aspect of their work. And what really is happening with this vial is not that. It gets sent away to a facility in Texas, and every one of their millions of clients is tissue typed in great detail, and their tissue profile is put in a massive database for retrieval should your profile match up with somebody who might be perhaps more important than you are. That's pretty terrifying. The scary part of, of a lot of the uh, kind of medical stuff that that we write are, is something happening to your body that you don't know about. Michael, is there any truth behind your novel? Well, there's always an element of truth behind my novel. Uh, this is scary stuff, and I would hope that uh, such a thing isn't going on. However, in, in this day and age, when we suddenly realize that our credit card information and our telephone information and uh, many factors of our life are being used by, by our own government, uh, to screen out various segments of the population, it's certainly no great stretch to believe that something in our blood, in our blood profile, is going into a database uh, someplace. So it's potentially the ultimate identity theft. It is the ultimate identity theft, well put. Uh, and I think that it's a very, a very primal fear right now in, in modern society of how little privacy we have left. Um, if any. It sounds fascinating and utterly terrifying. Thank you very much, I guess. <laughs> I wanted it to be. Well, it's really an honor to meet you, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. The pleasure's mine. With the perfect blend of action and suspense, the fifth vial is as thought-provoking as it is thrilling and sure to keep you on your toes from beginning to end.